Well, last week I brought you a story about how Eric Ten Hag had already planned to strip or dethrone, dethrone Harry Maguire of the captaincy of Man United and most of you thought that it was just a story that maybe we brought in through uncooked but here we don't cook stories because authenticity is what will front more than anything else so today harry Maguire has gone on his twitter account he has put out a statement that he is no longer the captain of man united and the club is captain lace until further notice and we wait and see who eric ten Hag is going to come out and name <clears throat> as the new united captain welcome to united matters channel how are you guys and where you watching us from i go by the names of rock and david smash the like button comment and share if at all you're watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that you do upload in here on a daily so it's really a very good day here in kampala uganda where i do host these shows in for you and it's a sunday guys hope you guys have gone to church especially those that go to church to pray but people like me pray from home because god is omniscient so thank you very much now rock and david or rd is my name let's see close to 400 likes much on this video because i know most of you have been waiting for this moment and it has finally happened and let's see Let's see our subscribing list really grow up to 15,000 subscribers before the end of <clears throat> this month. Remember, today is 16th and we are left with 15 days to go. That is like a fortnight. Now, the statement that Harry Maguire put up read <clears throat> that after discussions with the manager today, he has confirmed me he is changing captain. He outlined his reasons to me and whilst i'm personally extremely disappointed i'll continue to give my all every time i wear the shirt so i wanted to say a massive thank you to you much ascended fans for all their brilliant support whilst i've been wearing the amban since the day i took on the role three and a half years it's been a huge privilege to lead Manchester united and one of the proudest moments of my career <clears throat> to date it's one of the greatest honors in club football i've done everything i possibly could to help united to help united be successful on and off the pitch i will always be grateful to oliguna Socia for first giving me the responsibility and i wish and i wish whoever now takes it on every success and they will have my full support so that confirms to you that it's a forced it's a forced move by eric ten Hag to say to it that this man surrenders what we call the captaincy of manchester united because as it stands the the statement says he is disappointed for losing the captaincy <clears throat> and that confirms to us that if it wasn't the case then he wouldn't he wouldn't have he wouldn't have not gone ahead to obviously surrender it in or relinquish it in. but obviously ten Hag has gone ahead and really told him please <clears throat> it's over it's over for you and the armband of man united because you can't be captain of man united yet you are always a bench player and i know it is really one of those things that uh we've been calling for for very many years ever since oliguna Sosha came in through that's why Harry Maguire is going to hate to thank him. And I think Ashley Young moved to, is it Inter Milan? Then Harry Maguire was made the captain of Manchester United in just six months at his day of Man United. And ask yourself, had he known what the club of Man United is all about? Because it's rare for a person who has just come in through to obviously be made the captain of Man United. I saw... I saw Roy Keane. He never came on and really took it in the amban because <clears throat> Eric Cantona was there and he had to be at the club for some good years. And the, when Eric Cantona was really thrown over, then he came in through and obviously took over. After him taking over and he left the club of Man United, there were the likes of. Uh, um, uh, who was the captain there? I think there, the captains of United was really temporarily. Rio Fednard could be, um, who else could be? Gary never could be. But after some time, when Vidic came in through and obviously did the job, he was given the full captaincy of the club of Manchester United. So Wayne Rooney also took over. Gary never. So it shows you that it's naive for any manager to come in through at the club of man united and give a player who has just spent six months on the club what we call the captain armband of man united a very huge job 
that you need to be a person who has been at the club and you've known how things happen or magic happens at the club of Manchester United. So I think that's the bad thing that Oliguna Sosha did to Harry Maguire. But to me, we've been calling for this for like three years that Harry Maguire shouldn't be the captain of Man United. You can't be having your captain when he is one of the least rated players every time the game is done. You know, even when he comes in and plays 10 or 5 minutes, he has a mistake onto him. You can't be the captain in any way. You can't be the captain of Manchester United in that in those performances that you carry on day in, day out. So I think Harry Maguire in his own <coughs> in his own understanding he knew this was going off as Fabrizio Romano told us like one and a half weeks back that Eric Ten Hag is going to hold discussions with Harry Maguire when he returns to the preseason training and remember they returned on Friday I think on Saturday morning and he had a meeting with Harry Maguire and things were settled and he was told you are no longer the captain of Man United then other correspondents of Man United like Samuel Lucas for the BBC, sorry, Samuel Lucas for the Manchester Evening News, Laurie Whitwell for The Athletic, uh, Simon Stones for the BBC, uh, James Donka for Telegraph, uh, Paul Haas for The Times came out and confirmed to us that it's really going to happen. Eric Ten Hag is going to choose a new captain for the club of Man United and Harry Maguire was not in queue of this. So I don't know who the captain is going to be but looks like it's going to be Bruno Fernandes to be the captain of Manchester United. Um, it's just like a 90% probability and that 10% you never know what will change in there for you. So the biggest, the biggest argument or fight is going to be who are the next two captains of Man United. The first vice captain and the second vice captain of the club of Manchester United and to me I think it's going to be Bruno Fernandes, Rafael Varane and um, Marcus Rashford or Luke Shaw. People are going to be shocked on my list that I'm really predicting because they've not had the name Casemiro. The problem with Casemiro is he's a very good leader but he has not learned English you know the reason as to why Bruno Fernandes is the perfect captain of Man United is he can speak English. <laughs> that means he can easily speak with all players at the club who really do understand English. And he can speak Portuguese and Latin, Latino language, meaning that all players from South America can be really talked to. And when you look at uh, the entire world of football, if you can speak those two languages, you can at least play in any club around the world. And at Manchester United, we have players coming in from Latin America and uh, and South America, that is Anthony Casemiro. So they are not so much into the English language. That is Andrew Martinez. But Lisandro can speak really good English. So we anticipate and see how that is going to pan out. But I believe that Rafael Veran, Marcus Rashford, Casemiro, Luke Shaw are going to be in consideration of who is going to be the next English captain. And I think in that hierarchy, of the three people captain Man United, with the main captain being Bruno Fernandes, there has to be an English guy. And that might be based on what the, the history of Man United is all about. We need to be having an English player in the queue of the captaincy of Manchester United because <clears throat> it has always been like that. When Roy Keane was here, when he never captained the club, David Beckham did, right? Um, when Vidic was the captain, Gary Neville was the vice, you know. Um, when Gary Neville was, I think it was Wayne Rooney who was the vice. When Wayne Rooney was the, was the captain, main captain of the club, who was the vice. So it shows you that an English, the leader of Man United should be English or the captain should be English. If not English, then the vice is supposed to be English. So that's why I've gone ahead to obviously talk a lot about Marcus Rashford because I really know what it means in the hierarchy of Manchester United to have that English captain into the mix. But I've gotten one of um, a person on Twitter known as Mike. He has gone ahead and said the records broken with Harry Maguire as Manchester United captain. Let me read you these records and then we call it a day. 
Manchester United's longest Manchester United longest run without a trophy in 48 years. Obviously, it has it, it was six years and it's Eric Ten Hag that really came in through and broke and broke that dreadlock. Then Manchester United lowest points total in the PL era that was 58 points in the season of 2021-2022 when Ole Gunnar was shocked when Ole Gunnar Sosha was sacked. Rafran came in through as a caretaker and registered 58 points only. Manchester United's longest run without a clean sheet at Old Trafford in club's history. Obviously, it was also broken under the captaincy of Harry Maguire. Manchester United's joint biggest home defeat in 145 years. So it was really calamitous. That's why it had to really be thrown off the captaincy. Manchester United's longest run without a clean sheet in 48 years. Manchester United's worst start to a season in 30 years mm, that is 2019 2020 <laughs> you know that season was really one of the worst that we had then Manchester united is worst start to a season in 48 years 2020 2021 Manchester united is most goals conceded at home in the pl season 2021 2022 seasons Manchester united is most home losses in a season since 23 and that happened in the season of 2020-2021. Burnley had never won at Old Trafford until Harry Maguire came in through. Arsenal hadn't won at Old Trafford in the last 14 years until Harry Maguire came in through. Crystal Palace had never won at Old Trafford in the Premier League until Harry Maguire came in through. Sheffield had never won at Old Trafford until Harry Maguire came in through. West Ham hadn't won at Old Trafford in 14 years until Harry Maguire came in through. Aston Villa hadn't won at Old Trafford in 12 years until Harry Maguire came in through. Brighton had never won at OT until Harry Maguire came in through. Man United had and lost three games in a row Leicester City since 1901 until United signed Harry Maguire from Leicester City he has conceded 11 goals to them in his time here handing them the FA Cup in the process Manchester United had never been four goals down at half time in the Premier League era until Harry Maguire came in through that has happened by the very many times <laughs> so it happened against Manchester City it happened against Liverpool so it has happened very many times. Manchester United hadn't lost, hadn't lost by a margin of five goals to Liverpool at Old Trafford in 126 years until Harry Maguire came in through. Man United had never considered 15 goals in a season to City and Liverpool until Harry Maguire came in through. So the list is really endless. So Liverpool hadn't won a league title in 30 years until United signed Harry Maguire. I think. You can blame on him because he's the captain. Manchester, Manchester City hadn't won a treble in 145 years of Manchester United existing until Man United signed Harry Maguire, the first of the most embarrassing era in Manchester United history. Thanks for absolutely nothing, pal. And uh, one thing that he had not even noticed was we lost very many semi-finals. We lost finals with Harry Maguire leading this club. So guys, your thoughts on to Ten Hag. Finally, <clears throat> stripping off Harry Maguire of the captaincy of Manchester United. A welcome in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to be the captain of Man United? And who do you think are going to be his two assistants? So, all that into the comment section. The Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living true God bless you abundantly. I sign out for now. Bye-bye.